Good morning, friends. Sean back again. It's February 1st, and we are back with another Daily Nerdle. As always, if you want to do this puzzle yourself before seeing the answer here, feel free to pause this video and go to nerdlegame.com. That link's in the video description below. Again, if you like this content, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. But for now, let's get into this puzzle. So, over the last two days, our first two puzzles, first two Nerdle puzzles, have had multiple operators in them. So I'm kind of tempted to say, what if we start to... What if we start to include more than one operator in our initial guess? Uh, four times three equals... That, will that be helpful? Yeah. Or, actually, you know what we can do here? Start with that zero. Zero plus four times three equals 12. That way we get the numbers zero, one, two, three, and four. We get two operators and our equal sign. We can see which, uh, how many, uh, how many digits this answer has. So, oh, once again, we have the two digit answer and it begins with one. That's pretty awesome. Um, we don't have addition or multiplication. So that's a little bit interesting. Subtraction or division or both, perhaps? I'm wondering. Let's see. We can't have something like a single division to end up with. 10 with that 2 in there. What I'm picturing is like um, 20 divided by divided by, can't hit that with the keys 2 equals 10. We're not going to be able to hit that with the right number of digits. Um, and then putting that 2 over somewhere over here um, So, yeah, just a little bit weird thing in there. But, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any way we can put that 2 over on the left side to have it equal, equal a result of 10. Um, a two-digit two number that would include the 2, the smallest one, would be 12. Um, so something divided by 12 is 10 which would mean 120 has too many digits to, to make that come through. So I'm thinking we're going to be limited to only subtraction here. Um, I could be completely wrong on that. But I'm going to go with that estimate. Um, maybe it's not 10. Yeah, let's figure out what that final digit is. Uh, let's just get some stuff entered. I'm, I'm sort of just spinning my wheels at this point and not really getting anywhere. So let's try some more numbers. Um, I guess let's try 78 minus 56 equals, that's also going to equal 12, or no, 22. Um, you know what, let's try that if we're not going to get anything on the second one with that 12 or 22, let's at least try and see if it's 10 by guessing 20. Okay, not, the final answer is not 10. This looks probably looks a little more sloppy than my previous uh, attempts at this, but it's still kind of getting used to this. Um, so, zero and two go somewhere in there. I don't think we're going to end up with something like, what if we have something like this? Uh, 31, this is not going to be it obviously because we've already ruled out the three. 31 minus 20 equals 11. Um, again, there's probably a better way to start guessing this, but, um, I just want to gather some information and uh, working 
playing on too many angles at once trying to figure out what these could possibly be while uh, guessing other um, guessing other numbers at the same time is going to confuse me a little bit so I, I, I like where this is going at the moment um, also I should note that by putting that operator right here in this third position we've limited the number of total operators they can be uh, we are not going to have addition, or we're not, we're not going to have subtraction and division here. Um, there is no other place to set up division that would make uh, for two operands on either side of that. So uh, we have just the subtraction to deal with today, not two operators. So let's test this out. Okay, now we're we're getting somewhere. Do we have just two? Let's see. It looks like we have something like this. 20, um, 26, it may not be 26, it may be 29, minus 10 equals 16. That looks to be the structure of what we have going on. Um, I don't see any other way around this, personally. Um, and this could be 9 in place of the 6. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be the exact... The exact formula, just maybe adding three to the to that spot. It will be okay. Twenty nine minus ten equals nineteen. Again, probably could have played that better. I didn't, but we got there in five. Uh, not bad. Not bad for being a little confused out the gate and still kind of getting getting my feet wet with this game. I do like this game a lot. I think it it certainly causes you to think in a different way. Um, I'm sure I'll get a little bit better about this uh, over time. Uh, but very, very much fun to kind of add this to the rotation of fun games to, uh, to play daily. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help out significantly. And share this video with anyone you think would enjoy some daily logic puzzles. That's all for now, and we'll see you all tomorrow.